Welcome back. The works of the late artist Joy Velasco are living testaments to his skill and spirit. As a Lenten offering, the Joy Velasco Foundation is running Beyond Life, an exhibit of some of the social artist's best paintings. And joining us now are Marie Queenie Sunga Velasco, president of the Joy Velasco Foundation, and Father Bogi Cabrera, board member of the Joey Velasco Foundation. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, morning Paul. Wow, this is uh, such a great opportunity. Uh, when, I, when I came into the studio this morning, I saw all these large uh, pieces. It was, uh, it was such a treat because... Uh, here they are in the flesh, so to speak. Uh, this, this sounds like a wonderful exhibit. Uh, how about you give us a bit of a background on, on what the exhibit is all about? Well, the exhibit is about Joey's work. Mm -hmm. We just, the foundation just feel that uh, even beyond life, mm -hmm. we should offer all of these paintings to the Filipinos. Mm -hmm. And it's obviously a perfect time. I mean, we, were, right. we were just t touching on that. You know, now is, now is the time to to reflect a little bit of introspection to, to yeah. just uh, re rekindle and uh, keep your relationship uh, with right. God open. And, and uh, art is one of the, the great pathways uh, to do that. It's and, wonderful. Uh, I believe uh, your husband was, was all about that. I mean, he, he communicated uh, through his art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was just uh, five years before he died mm -hmm. because he got sick mm -hmm. and they just feel that the Lord gave him the instrument, mm -hmm. the, the painting. Mm -hmm. He gave that art as an instrument for him to express what is inside his heart. That's right. Now, uh, it's interesting that you, you actually mentioned that uh, Joey is not was was never, never. a classically trained uh, artist painter. No formal training, yeah, Paolo. Uh, no, no formal training, and yet if you look at the works, I mean, this is the work of a very accomplished hand. This is this is uh, this is no ordinary artist. That's really. right. Well, um, how did he feel about? Uh, you touched on that when you said that he felt that it was you know a gift that a gift that he should share really. Yes. Uh, because he got depressed, mm -hmm. Paolo, and then and after a while, um, he asked God. So uh, uh, during that time, he was really depressed and he cannot, he doesn't know what mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, he explained to us that God gave him um, an instrument, this mm -hmm. paintbrush. Right. So he just expressed himself. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, what is inside him, he just devoted his time to mm -hmm. the Lord. Okay. So, uh, Father Bogi, uh, what, what do you hope to uh, well, achieve? What is the exhibit uh, hoping to achieve? Well, like you said, a while ago you were talking about the do's and the don'ts mm -hmm. on, on Holy Week. I think Holy Week is basically for us to reflect on what Jesus or what God has done for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, with the paintings of Joey, one cannot help but reflect really on who Jesus is. Mm -hmm. And if you notice the paintings, it's always about Jesus with people, right. especially the poor. Uh -huh. And so what I think what touches uh, people is that God is not somewhere up there. Mm -hmm. Jesus is with them mm -hmm. here and now okay. in their suffering. Mm -hmm. And so like I was asking, I was talking to people, I said, where are you now? And I believe where we are now, there is where God will meet us. Mm -hmm. And that is what the picture, or rather the paintings of jo Joey, what they depict to people and what touches them. Mm -hmm. uh, over here, I think we've got probably one of his most uh, well-known works. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is Hapag ng Pagasa. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is one of his most popular and well-known works. I mean, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on in this painting. So these are uh, actually, Paolo, the initial uh, inspiration of Joey is just to remind our children mm -hmm. to not to take care of the poor people mm -hmm. also. And uh, so now, Paolo, these are real, real, real street children. Mm -hmm. And because of the love of the people, they saw the paintings of Joey, many people were touched. Mm -hmm. So many people also donated some money mm -hmm. from Joey. So this is the new next episode of mm -hmm. the painting. It's Hapag ng Pag-ibig okay. also. So these are the street children now in a breakfast with mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. They are not, they're not, uh, they're not hungry anymore. Uh -huh. So because of the love of the people also, they were all already transferred in Gawad Kadim. Okay, that's a great, that's a great sort of uh, story there. I mean, uh, also, when you look at, when you, when you look at the, well, the painting style uh, of, of Joey was also uh, quite remarkable in that uh, it, it's actually very close to, to the old master styles. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, it's heavily modeled. There's a lot of uh, chiaroscuro going on there. Mm -hmm. Um, and and 
it's maybe uh, it's obviously an homage to popular Last Supper uh, themed works uh, of this type where, where you have uh, sort of uh, deep uh, deep hues and deep uh, tones and then it goes from something like that towards something that's much brighter yes. Yes, um, a very positive image very positive uh, over image. here where where there's really a story that's that's, that's told right. and it's it's almost like it's come full circle that's right um, also reflected in his life i suppose where where yes. the work is now come full circle and it's it's uh, doing what he wanted the work to do it's just uh, to, to, to share uh, well, his, his love for God and uh, inviting so, people to communicate. Yes, yeah, so the f we created the foundation. Mm -hmm. What is the foundation all about? What is, what it's, is the work? Um, well, the work actually, about? the foundation is um, uh, organized by the friends of Joey mm -hmm. and uh, these are people whom we don't know. Mm -hmm. We just uh, met them because of the painting. Okay. So they were, uh, they believe in the advocacy of Joey. So mm -hmm. we created a a foundation for him mm -hmm. so the foundation wants to continue the advocacy of Joey mm -hmm. so there are two cares there are two cares of the foundation mm -hmm. first is to uh, continue mm -hmm. this hapag, the hapag village mm -hmm. take care of the hapag village okay. and then uh, another one is uh, to preserve the paintings of Joey okay. because father we, we believe that um, yeah we want to share what um, the dream of Joey, mm -hmm. and we feel that we need to share these paintings mm -hmm. uh, for the Filipino people. Mm -hmm. uh, he is um, he's a nationalist and a, a social artist, mm -hmm. no? and so we feel that it would be a waste if we do not share these paintings with people. And so we are planning. Ultimately, we are planning to put up a, a, a museum, art gallery, okay, no? with where all the paintings would be there to, mm -hmm. for people especially the poor to go to and you know to see these paintings all right well uh, a few more details on the people who might uh, want to you know uh, get in touch with uh, uh, their their introspection and reflection uh, and through through art it, it's yes. a great way to do it through the exhibit uh, yes. can you give us a few more details yeah we have an exhibit right mm -hmm. now going on in Santo Domingo Church okay. it started uh, April 11 and it will last until April 24 okay. and there's another exhibit in National Kidney Institute mm -hmm. so there are two exhibits now for Holy Week mm -hmm. uh, we also invite you viewers to visit and um, uh, just reflect especially this Holy Week mm -hmm. so you can uh, we can the foundation can share with you the family can share with you God's blessing to my husband all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, we, we've got uh, Marie Queenie and uh, Father Bogey. Thank you so thank much you. for sharing the paintings. Thank you for bringing <laughs> these huge paintings here. Yeah. And for everybody who, who may be interested to uh, appreciate the art and use the art as, uh, like I said, you know, pathway to a bit more reflection, yeah, do come down and check out the exhibit.